having gone through something tragic like this and um, losing a son and watching my other children lose a brother and watching several kids lose a best friend. We've learned that it's a process. Uh, grief is a process. When we had the healing circle, like that step was necessary. It's necessary to cry with each other. It's okay to be happy that we all knew him in the way that we did. What we participated in is something called a healing circle. It's derived from restorative practices, a way just to make sure that we can all be heard, seen, and really normalize our emotions and feelings that we have. We wanted this to be about communication and experiencing the grief in a way that's not alone. Because sometimes when we experience that grief alone, we don't get to really embrace the, the community and the structure that we all need when we're struggling or we're going through something. You're expecting that person to be there and they're not. It feels like the whole community is kind of dealing with it and working through it as a process together instead of feeling like singled out and alone. My name is America and I'm painting at Canterbury High School and I got here because um, there is a student here that took his own life and I went to high school with his mom. When everyone comes together and paints a mural together, that's more ownership over like, th this is my space, you know, I belong here. That in itself brings people together, but then when you're healing from something, art is healing all by itself. It is a way to let out your emotions without speaking. We were looking at ways where we could both you know, honor him, but also heal as a community. That weekend that it happened, I had seen him the Thursday before, and I actually sat a couple seats down from him. It's sad for me to reflect that you know, it, you know, he was there in that moment, and, and just, I mean, he looked happy. He was so sweet. He never like hid if he was like feeling grateful. He was really, really talented. I remember that he would like sketch on the bus. He would be like, oh, I'm just drawing. And like everybody knew that he was good at drawing. I really enjoyed art. So I just like being able to focus on that during school and gives me like a little break from all the other like school oriented stuff. Yeah, he was just a good person. I like went downstairs one day and I was like, hey Ryan, and he was like, Jess, look at what I drew. Because like he wouldn't let me look at it until it was finished. And once it was finished, he was so proud of it. And he was like showing me all the little details. I was like, I like this, I like this, I like the texture. And he was like, he was like, yeah. There's a certain flow that you get into when you're painting that it's very relaxing and things come up, thoughts come up while you're painting that you're like, oh, I didn't know that I felt that way. It's like raw emotion on display. Any of my free time is spent painting. It just helps with like emotional release. The first time I did it, I was like shaky and I just started crying. And I was like, I don't even know why I'm crying, but it felt good. Like it wasn't like, like it was sad, but it felt good and it feels good to do this for him. The interactivity of it has been nice. The fact that they can uh, be a part of the process of it and, 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 and you know do the painting themselves has been therapeutic. If Orion was you know, looking at this you know, film and looking at this collaborative experience, I think he would see the joy and the love that people had for him specifically in his life. And it goes back to having a good sense of belonging, a sense of community, having good communication structures in place. Nobody wanted to talk about it. And this has been a way for us to not have to talk about it we can come together and paint about it. <laughs> As I'm painting, I can hear students walking by and saying, I painted this part, I painted this part, and that's what the art experience is about. Watching the kids paint the mural just feels great for me, and it feels like a very vital part of the healing process, and I wish everyone could have access to do this because it's really helped. It's helped us stay together. No one has grieved alone. And it's amazing how when you take the paintbrush and you actually start painting, how good it feels. Um, it's like your feelings coming out onto something that's gonna last. I think the experience this week has been a good one for the kids. We're thankful uh, to America for her, for the work that she's done and, and for how she's supported Orion's family. I know this has meant uh, the world to them. I personally can let more people know about suicide and maybe we can help 
another family or another person so that they don't have to go through this and so that their family doesn't have to go through this and their friends. It feels great um, to see the mural on the wall and to see, like even more, to see the kids come together because when something devastating happens, everyone's just kind of left at that and left to figure it out on their own. I think this collaborative art experience really helped us come together as a school community to say, hey, we embrace each other and we love life and we, we care about each other. I've heard from a few of the students that were friends with Orion that this was um, a bit of closure for them. And um, I got to hear a bunch of cool stories about Orion and just who he was as a person. And um, I think they feel like they're doing something nice for him when they felt maybe a little out of control with that. Like they didn't maybe get to say goodbye, but this was a way of maybe saying goodbye. I'm passionate about it and I really want to like try and continue to grow and improve and maybe like do something on the side involving art. This is a pencil shading that I did last semester. The project was you had to combine different photos and references into like a single painting and like a collage. And so I just incorporated a bunch of different stuff like a caverns and like a snowy river and other stuff just to get the whole piece. And it took a while to work on it. I had to take it home a lot to continue working on it. There's nothing you can lose. And I always try to try things that I'm doubtful that I may not be able to do just to see if I can do them. Because if you don't try, then you'll never know.